Saturday afternoon marked the halfway point of 2014 spring practice and when asked about how his team is performing thus far, Jimbo Fisher said he loved the intensity of Saturday's practice and how his team responded. Got a lot of situations done. Uh, fundamentally, we're learning to get better, but we got to get situationally more intelligent. How to play and how to think allows to play faster and more efficient, and I think that's the next step we need to get to. We're starting to get some base fundamental things down offensively, defensively, special teams. Not to where we want them. Still a long way to go, but now we got to really take our time and work situations, underhand, understand how to be a smart football team, play with intelligence, and play at an elite level, and separate ourselves because we understand what the task at hand is and what we're trying to accomplish in the, every situation. I think that's the next challenge this young group's got to do. So we worked on a lot of that today. Got better, very efficient day, and we'll have a good scrimmage on Monday. With Devontae Freeman and James Wilder Jr. both leaving early for this year's NFL draft, that leaves senior Carlos Williams to be the feature back in the Seminole offense. It's a position he's wanted to be in ever since he switched from defense to offense. Always, you know, it's always something that you, you want to accomplish being a starter here at Florida State. Uh, I've been a backup for a while, been able to come in and relieve a lot of guys, been able to produce and, you know, put forth a great effort out there on the football field. But uh, now I feel like it's my time to actually put forth, be that leader on the football field and, and really prove and show what I can do. Uh, I have a lot, of, a lot of personal goals that I would love to accomplish and um, I would love to, you know, establish myself in one of the best backs in the country. But also I'm more concerned about the team goals, you know, going out there, winning another 14 games. Uh, win another national championship, uh, winning uh, another ACC championship. You know, that's more important to me, and I, I truly believe that the more I do those things for my team and, and put forth effort to help my team win, the, the more those individual things will come along, and, and you know, I'll take them as they come. Austin Barron now officially takes over at that center position after Brian Stork is getting ready for the NFL draft. When asking Barron who he learned everything from, he said Brian Stork. I learned so much from him. He was a great mentor. Uh, He's always had, he's always been there whenever I was like whenever I would mess up and he would just explain to me what what I did wrong, what I need to do better, and uh, you know he's gonna miss him a lot. It's different, but I mean, uh, two springs ago I was kind of in the same position because we were down an offensive lineman, so I, I've been through a spring already where I was the starting guy. So you know it's kind of right now knowing that I'll be the starting center is really big, and I just need to make sure I know what I'm doing at all times. Seminoles will hold their first scrimmage of spring ball on Monday afternoon. Seminoles.com will, of course, have complete coverage of that scrimmage. Here on Saturday afternoon at the Al Dunlap practice fields, I'm Scott Kodak for Seminoles.com.